Hello everyone, hello. I borrowed this from Max. I like this Lala Keba track. So nice. Spicy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you everybody. Thank you, Jay Takaba. Thank you. Thank you. I took this from the uh, the music that Max played yesterday on the Generation Talk Show because I don't have the audio, so played it. I love, I really like this track, so I really like to play it. Um, thank you, thank you everybody for joining. I've not done Facebook Live for a while. Thank you, uh, thank you everybody for joining. Is <laughs> for fun? Are you in your main car? <laughs> thank you, thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you, Trisha. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Amadou. Yeah, I haven't done Facebook Live for a while. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just tried a very quick one today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Badr Aliu. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> the victory is not yet, Idrisa. How do you mean? How do you mean? <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for joining. Thank you. <laughs> we know Dorong, eh? <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Ibiranjai. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Well done. Thank you, Musu. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Congratulations to you, too. Thank you. Thank you, Musa Mani. Thank you. <laughs> Idrisa, don't worry about the presidential elections. We have that in the bag, inshallah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you, ML Jabi. Thank you. Okay, I I I'll stop this music now. Uh, thank you. I I took this from the Generation Talk Show video yesterday. Um, I, I am gonna get it from Max to audio because I really like this uh, Lalo Keba track. So refreshing to listen to. Um, thank you, Khadija to Dabo Jalo Jerry. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff Diba. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Matida. Uh, hello. Uh, my condolences to you again. I hope you're recovering from the demise of your gran gran grandma. Take it easy. Thank you. Thank you, Mori Jame. Yes, UDP Generation Talks will did a fabulous job. Thank you, thank you for acknowledging. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. 
<laughs> Is he on four for Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, Thank you, Lavin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, Asalaamu Alaikum to all of you. Um, everybody. Uh, Asalaamu Alaikum, Gambia. Uh, Asalaamu Alaikum. Um, first of all, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, I would say, um, because um, we always have to seek the blessing of the Almighty Allah um, in anything that we do in this world. Um, I'll say that Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Um, I'm here just to make a quick Facebook Live. Um, because a lot of, it's an important day for our country. It's an important day for our, 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 our tiny country, but that's our beloved nation, the Gambia. As small as the Gambia is, it is our beloved country, and we are all proud of being Gambians. Um, what I want to say is, first of all, my heartfelt congratulations to the entire leadership of the United Democratic Party, from the Secretary General and the Party Leader of the United Democratic Party, like Hussein Dabo, the entire executive in the Gambia, and all the members of the United Democratic Party, the supporters and the sympathizers, job well done. We should be proud of ourselves. We should praise God for the job delivered. Um, we are a democratic party and we believe in democratic dispensation. Um, against all odds, UDP is always proven to Gambians that is the majority party and that was demonstrated yesterday again through the verdict of the Gambian people the Gambian people have spoken and they have spoken well but they have spoken decisively as well and that should be respected by everybody irrespective of political affiliations while one has to be a Democrat or not a Democrat. There is no in between. I keep saying that all the time. And democracy is not a one size fit all thing. Um, in a democracy process, you have to accept and get tolerance. Tolerance meaning accepting the divergent views of those that you don't even agree with. And that's one has to be democratic. What happened yesterday in Gambia is historic and symbolic. And we should all be proud of ourselves as Gambians. The elections conducted peacefully. And I would say bravo to the IAC chairman, Alaji Mamar Alunjai, and his team for job well done. Bravo to the Gambian people who once again demonstrated that we are well capable of solving our own problems. Ex Yaya Jami. He was a problem. But now the jam is not in power. We are capable of solving our own problem. Okay, somebody said my volume is low. Let me check. Uh, well, from here my volume is at maximum. Um, somebody said, oh, a lot of people say my volume is low. Okay, I don't know. Um, probably have to use headphone then. I don't know. Let me just use headphone. Just, just bear me one second. Use headphone. Because... Okay, I'll use headphone now because um, when two, three people said the volume, it cannot be one person then, it must be from my end. <clears throat> okay, I think I'll use headphone and that should be better. Oh, Haruna said he can hear me. Okay. I think uh, if the volume is getting better now, then you let me know. Um, uh, the volume is okay. 
A lot of people saying the volume is okay. Okay. That's fine. Um, so I think maybe those people saying the volume, maybe check your check your phones and adjust your volume. Uh, Alaji Ali Fati also saying volume. Can you hear me? It's okay. All right. So let me just proceed. Um, what I what I was saying, uh, the Gambians have spoken. Uh, we should be proud of ourselves. Um, congratulations to Aji Rohim Malik Law, the first female mayoress of Banjo and the first lady to be elected in that position in the history of our country. Against all odds, she's won. Um, it wasn't easy. She went through hell. She went through one of the most nasty campaign periods, mainly from the diaspora. But she kept her cool and rose above it. And what has that has proven to us is rudeness. Yifi Hamadi, Kulubalia doesn't yield dividend. What normally, what actually yields result is for somebody to have respect for yourself and respect for other people. Um, what God says will be, will be. We should all know that. And I want to say, it was really emotional for me yesterday when the results trickle in and I got the confirmation even before the IAC announced it that Rohi Malik will won Banjo. Because we were all edgy. We all sat on the knife edge. Even though we had the belief that she was going to pull it off. But with elections, it's never, you're never sure. You're never sure until the results are announced. So with the victory of Rohi Malik Law, that calmed a lot of nerves within the UP, UDP ranks. Because one of the first results apart from the ones on up country that we got. Most of us were pretty sure that KMZ Talib was going to win anyway. We knew that. So Talib was not an issue. We know that KMZ was UDP's one to take. But Banjul, because of the history of Banjul, UDP has never won in Banjul. It's always been an Achilles hill for UDP. So that actually, you know, made a lot of people edgy, people were nervous, people were not sure what was going to happen. But we had confidence that because of the caliber of the candidate that we, 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 we put forward in the passing of Rohi Malik Law, because of her discipline, her determination, her desire, we always believed that she would deliver. And Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, God has given this pledge to her. And I have confidence that with the team around Rohi Malik Law and the support from the UDP leadership and the UDP fraternity in diaspora, she will deliver to the aspirations of the people of Banjo. I have no doubt about that. She is a very accommodating person. She is a good listener. She listens to other people and she is kind-hearted as well. So that has given me assurance that she would definitely do well for the people of Banjol. And once again, congratulations to Rohi Malik Law and her entire team, Team Rohi Malik Law, and the family that went through hell. They went through a lot of pain. Uh, they suffered abuse. They suffered all sort of castigation from some loose cannons in the diaspora, but they kept their cool. Now today, now today, what, how are those people going to see themselves, look at themselves in the mirror, to say, what was the point in all that haste, all that saga, all that yifi hamadi, and you will name it all Facebook, what has it led to for them? That's why in a human being, I always say something. Look, rudeness. It's not something that anybody should be proud of. Because what majority of us, all people, fail to realize that 
no one can judge another person. It's only ignorant people that sit in their comfort zones trying to judge other people. Who are you to judge another person? Ask yourself that critical question. If you are smart because you don't want to be judged by another person, the only judge here is the Almighty God that on the day of judgment will have the last word on who is a good person and who is a bad person. But not you, not me. Whatever you may think about somebody else is your own opinion of that person. Does that make it right? Are you right? Ask yourself that critical question. The people who were thinking that Rahim Ali Glow is this, Rahim Ali Glow is this, own opinions of her. But the person that's going to judge, the creator, the supreme being that will judge all of us is Almighty Allah. Let's always put that at the back of our minds, us people. The saddest thing is, Gambians, majority of us are Muslims. Say 90%, over 90% of Gambians claim to be Muslims. And we all know what Islam says, Nyaun Jorta. Nyaun Jorta is very bad. To sit down and have a perception about somebody that you don't know, you don't know the person, you are just sitting down in your comfort zone, or maybe you speak to one or two people and saying, oh, Rahim Ali Glow is this, or this person is this, this person is this, and then you just go with the flow. Do you think about that day when you will be, in this, will be having a seven meter wrap around your body, you will be motionless, and you will be in your own grave? Do you really think about that day? That day would come. Minute by minute, second by second, we are all approaching that day. And it's going to come. And if you have a young jorta about somebody, Allah will judge you. Who are you? I keep asking the question. Who are we to judge one another? Of course, because of the settings of a society that we live in, there are laws, rules and regulations. We have got Supreme Court judges. We have got magistrates. But even the magistrates and the judges normally will judge according to evidence. That's why they got called witnesses to the court. You have never gone to any court of justice where the judge will just sit down and preside over a decision and say, I'm going to sentence Madam X or Mr. Y based on the fact that I believe that he, he committed a crime. The state will have all its prosecutors. Lawyers will be there. They will all advance their cases and the judges, the magistrates will act on evidence. So please Gambians, let's behave ourselves. Some, not all. Whenever I speak, I always put a caveat around it. Because we've got decent Gambians who are not into this madness. Who always comport themselves. But I'm addressing those people who are judgmental on other people. Because Rohi Malik Law, most of the things that we heard about her, purely judgmental. Nothing on facts. You ask people about evidence, they will wallow here, Willy Walla, just move around, come out and say, yes, we know, we, are, we had, we had. Ga some Gambians are very used to that. We had, I had, then Makowa, Nuneli, Nuneli, Kulakowa, how sure are you in a koko degalamowa? It's time for teaching and learning moments, Gambians. There are some people, Nak, well, no matter the preaching, no matter the level of civic education, no matter the advocacy, they will always stand low. For those people, don't waste your time on them. Those people, they can't be helped. You cannot redeem those people. But there are others who would listen. Politics should be about ideas. Politics should not be about Hassande. Nyo Nengo. Nyo Doya. Because let me, let's ask ourselves a critical question. Who among us would want to be ridiculed? Nobody would want to be ridiculed. Nobody would want to be disrespected. And let's ask ourselves another question. Who among ourselves would call ourselves as bad people? Tell me one Gambian or one human being who would raise his or hand up to say that Ndema Ndemo Kendoti, Ndemo Mo Jawaliti, Maniku Borla, can do Otebo Paniku Borla. It's just like I keep saying, nobody would call himself or herself a racist 
or a tribalist. In the same way, nobody would call yourself a bad person. Everybody sees themselves as saints. I'm the best person. So if we have that understanding as human beings, who are you to judge another person? Yo, yeah, I can. Man, that's what I ask myself. Who are you to judge me or judge somebody else or judge Rahim Ali Klo? Did God give you that moral authority? Certainly not. And that's why God says in the Quran, Everybody will go. Your mother will not be there. Your father will not be there if they're alive. Your children will not be there if they're alive. None of your family members will be there. None of your friends that you will be on the telephone calling, they will not be there. Certainly they will not be there. Something that we all need to think about. We should elevate our politics. Like Mamoru Kurbalu always says, we should elevate our discourse. It's not a must that every Gambian should support United Democratic Party because that's not even good for our democracy. We should have people in other political parties as well because that's what we need as a nation. Democracy, I, I, I said it on one Facebook Live that I, 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 went, I, I log on as a guest. It's a contact sport. It's like contact sports like football or, or, or basketball, any other game. If you are in it, people will touch you you expect to be touched. But it should be based on decency. There was no need to insult Rahim Ali Klo. What people should have done was to challenge Rahim Ali Klo on her policies, her plan, her manifesto. Obviously, if you got something, tangible proof, hand it over to the IEC and say, I, I don't think this person qualifies to contest for Gambia because this person has got something like this, a record, a criminal record or whatever. That is within law. There's no problem. But you younger them, they castigate somebody else in the name of what? Politics. You want to bring somebody down. Because what I have realized recently in the Gambian political discourse is sad. It is very sad. People who, for whatever reason, people think that they have got something under their belts that they can deliver, somebody like Rohim Ali Klo. You want to bring her down because you cannot be where she is. Out of hate. Out of bigotry. Very sad. It's time for nation building. We must all now forget the past. And move on to build our country. The elections are over. We should move forward to the next stage where we will develop our country. And that development of the country is not a responsibility of the UDP party alone. This is the misconception. Some people have. Why well, UDP like elect? Yes, the primary responsibility lies now on the hands of the first people elected, right? Rohim Ali Klo has to take leadership at the level of the BCC. Uh, Talib Ben Suda has to show leadership. Siri Fosonko has to show leadership. London Bishani has to show leadership. Fode Danjo has to show leadership. And all the other candidates as one. But when it comes to national development, it's the role of every Gambian to contribute their quota to national development. Because if Talib, may God forbid, if Talib fails, it's KMC that fails. It's not only Talib that's going to... to yeah, it's just like when President Anna Mabaro fails, we fail as a nation. We should elevate our discourse, Gambia. What I have seen, thank you, Bamba Mas. I, I enjoyed your video today and you spoke well. Yeah? Uh, what happened yesterday in Banjul, historic. Historic. And my heartfelt congratulations to Rahim Ali Klo. The reason why I'm po putting a lot of emphasis on Rahim Ali Klo, with no disrespect to the other UDP candidates as one, she is the one that came on the lot of stick than any of them. So that's why I'm focusing too much on her. 
It's not being biased. At a point, it was really tough for all of us. We put the brave faces out there. But I would look at that la this lady and said, you know what? I've got sisters. I've got a wife. I've got daughters. I don't want any of them to be subjugated to this kind of humiliation. All right? But and the saddest thing is the people who were doing this are from the diaspora. People who live in civilized world. Because the Western world, you like it or not, is a civilized world. America is a civilized world. This, this, this nonsense was not coming from the ground. It was coming from the diaspora. Noise makers. The Facebook noise makers. Who thought they know everything. And they can judge other people. The sad. If you judge other people. Look at yourself. And I want to congratulate one thing. That Rahim Malik Law did. And I think we should all emulate her. She didn't respond to them. Silence is golden. Because if Rahim Malik Law had responded to these people. She would have put herself down to their level. That's why. There are some people they are not worth responding to. Billahi. That's the advice I will give to everybody. Some people are not worth responding to. We are all equal. Every human being is equal in the eyes of Allah. Nobody is better than the other. But our levels are different. That's from God's creation. Today, you cannot compare Rahim Malik's level with some of those people who are insulting her. She's not better than them. They are not better than her. But the way society will look up to Rahim Ali Klo, society is not going to look up to those people. So that's the difference. When society looks up to you at a certain level, don't bring that down because you disappoint a lot of people. So that's why some people are not worth responding to. And that's what Rahim Ali Klo demonstrated. She demonstrated that throughout the campaign period and it paid off for her. And her family, I'm very proud of the low family. I will say it here. The low family in the diaspora. Because Gambian, majority of Gambians are very intolerant. Majority of Gambians can criticize them. criticize to criticize other people. Why immediately criticize them. Send blood pressure out of a juke. And normally they behave like that. The people who don't want to be criticized are the people who are very critical of others. Not many Gambians are democratic. I keep saying that. It's easy to say I'm part of the United Democratic Party. It's easy to say that I am democratic. Very few Gambians are democratic. The low family, Lun Mun, Billahi family, Gambia. Because they are living in the first world. They are living in Europe. I'm not access to internet. Why they, com they compose themselves. You should be very proud of yourselves. The entire low family in the diaspora. But send discipline. Send yar. Send kilifa yarlen. You are a reflection of the family that you come from. Whether you like it or not. Tay man suma domi. So you gain a deaf dara si biti. Then you want to see who molenjur. Ah, can we send papa see who la? Suma jabar molenjur. Right? Lola nyowa. Okay? So that's what they do. So we are normally a reflection of our family. Kure them si saga si Facebook be. Kure them the Facebook live di lolo. Hela tal sa bopa. What are you giving? What sort of impact are you giving to your family? Alright? Okay? So, what we have to do now is, now I want to praise, this This is just a reflection on the, the whole election. That's the video I'm doing. I have said it, it's time for nation building. We need to move forward. And congratulations to Tali Bensura and all the winners. And commensuration to see, um, 
is the Jaite. Al Fusayli Jaite, CRR North, the only UDP candidate that could not cross the line. But uh, thank you, Lamin Konate. Thank you, Lamin. Thank you to you. You did a great job as well, everybody. The whole UDP. Uh, it's just that some of us are in the in the front phase in terms of the media or phases you see. But this job was done by every UDP member in the diaspora. Everybody played their part. Everybody. It's not only those of us in the media. There are people who are not even in the media that are doing a better job than us. Wallahi, I know that. There are people who need to see WhatsApp groupie. They are sending the messages in the Gambia. There are people who are sending money, raising funds. They do better work than us. Because when we are in the media, you see our faces and may think, oh, no, 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 no. Credit goes to every UDP supporter. UDP is a great party. All right? Um, you don't know that until yesterday, I laughed when I had one APRC lady said UDP doesn't have talented people. I just laughed. Probably you don't know. There are a lot of highly talented people in the United Democratic Party. And some of them are not as talkative as I am. All right? Some of us like talking. Yeah. But there are people who don't talk. They don't say anything. They are doing their work behind the scenes. I know that. They are not like myself or Bamba Mas who will enjoy coming to the screen. Or Lamin Konate or somebody else. All right? But there are people, great people within the United Democratic Party. And they are doing a fabulous job. So credit goes to everybody. But I want to say something. I hope this is actually going to be a lesson for a lot of Gambians. I think... A lot of people will now look up to Rohi Maliklo as a role model in the Gambian politics because she set a very high benchmark for all other candidates to emulate. Okay? Now, if any other candidate, we hope not, but if any other candidate is subjugated to all these insults, they have to emulate Rohi Maliklo. She has set a very high standard. They have to emulate the low family. The low family, Yen Jambarian. Jambargen. I spoke to one low family member, somebody uh, living in, in Germany yesterday, Mama Jakaram. I, I told her, Lungen Mun, you bari munin go mun Gambia. Bilahi. Saga yo saga on Rohi Maliklo. Has to bring over. So if you can any families, they would have paid back. <laughs> I know if it is my brother, <laughs> Sisla, Sisla, Anka Sisla Tonyele. Sisla would have fired the RPGs at them. <laughs> so okay thank you banna Juf. better less in Rolan, insulting other people doesn't it doesn't give you anything it's not only votes banna rudeness doesn't give you anything in this world hana turbo bon rek toku ya rek aka wala dila in discipline doesn't pay off ni nga jambar lo jambar lo sa bopa ken ne ko fi jambar jis na facebook bi da fa nek lo xamne mo be ñanté hak lo tolale jam mo manke jambaro ti way to write on facebook and insult somebody or go facebook like lolu mo la def jambar no you are not you are just maybe one loose cannon or an ignorant person because lu gëna meti moy i have said it at the beginning of my video all right <laughs> sisla sisla say you want roy malik lo to employ me secure because i'm going back home for good well I know you'll be a very good um, uh, guard for Himalik Law because you, you don't take nonsense anyway. <laughs> but but let, let, let's, let's, let's think about things that matter to our country. It's shameful. I see people on Facebook, this person is this, this person is that, Rohilo is this, he did it. even President Barrow. Be that he's our president, you don't have any right to be judgmental on him. Please. Yes, we elected him. But why should you be judgmental on him? If you got evidence that he's involved in alleged corruption, alleged financial misappropriation, as a good citizen of the Gambia, you should bring you should bring forward any evidence shared with the journalist. Alright? Yes, Aita Sar is a hero. Very a uh, Bamba Mas. Aita Sar Jambarla. And then Kenenla. Jerejef Aita Sar. Kubahanga, Yotamit. You know, 
kubah nga te musu ma gis ay te sar fu mo saga nit every time the father politics will clean these are the decent people of a country and we have many of them so going back to this issue if you got something against the government see with the media houses the journalists should that should go and they can be like we whistle blows challenge the government the government should be held accountable they should be we cannot have a government that is not challenged it's not good for our democracy it's not good for our development but we the government should be challenged responsibly there are so many noise makers in the diaspora they know themselves thank you alkali afa thank you thank you these people know themselves these are the noise makers in the diaspora they are the most intolerant they don't have any iota of democratic culture in them but they take joy and comfort in every time castigating the government castigating the system but they don't have thick skin to withstand an iota of criticism these people know themselves in the diaspora and they are the noise makers they are the facebook noise makers in the diaspora and sadly most of these people we are nowhere to be found when yaya jamia was killing our people man lol mo made jahal ci gambians i some of these people when yaya jamia was in banjul they terrorized gambians i yaya jamia did teach gambians i that was the time you should have demonstrated your the value of your citizenship i'm a gambian i have a right to talk you didn't have you you, you were not a gambian when yaya jamia was killing our people so you were not a gambian when yaya jamia terrorized our people so you you only became a gambian after 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 january 1st after the december 1st election is that what you're telling us no most of these people were not participating in politics they will not even contribute to the diaspora liberation but today these are the noise makers on facebook koneka kailan jislema mama fi gana da hawa we know all of them but now the new new facebook celebrities the people who want to take the limelight every man got a facebook be pare there is nothing wrong in even being part of the the discourse right now i don't have a problem with that because people will always enter into something at some different times but yo so neka a new person now you want to be like the saint diko bole ak yefi hamadi the hasti jigen the saga and you don't have tolerance to listen to divergent opinion you're not a democrat you should not even waste your time in a democratic culture be a democrat first and join a democrat dispensation but most of these people are not democrats they claim to be democrats they are not nehna koneka ngane man am democrat Let's look at our party. It's called United Democratic Party. That D word is very significant. Anybody in United Democratic Party should be democratic. Anybody who is participating in Gambian political discourse should be democratic. You should be a democratic person because we are a democratic nation. But you don't want to be democratic. Somebody disagrees with you. You jump on the person. you castigate a person he is a bad person ni kubonla so yo ya kuba who are you god told you you are a good person did he did the almighty allah communicate to you that you are the best person in this world no you just got a mentality you got that mentality that you are the best somebody else is evil somebody else is not good you are the better person and that's full hardiness honestly the nasty period that we went through leading to the mayoral chairmanship election the mayoral election in banjo is something that we don't want to repeat in a country's uh, political dispensation again and we hope it doesn't repeat itself again because we shouldn't be proud of ourselves for our children 
to grow up, to realize that these things happen during our times. Certainly not. Nanlen respects in Bopai. Alingam for respect, Gambian all. Some, some of Gambian, I'm not generalizing. Because I said earlier, we have got decent people. Some of these loose goons in the diaspora are just few. Not more than 10, sir. So, but it's a good 10. But they are noisemakers. Yes, since like God is He. <laughs> in the Quran, uh, we all know that God is He. Because um, that's, that's it. In English, they call God He anyway. I'm speaking English, Sizzler. Maybe go and ask Queen why they call God He. Okay? All right? So, this is the problem. Let's understand that politics of decency, that's what we need to promote in our culture. And you know, the saddest thing is, the folks on the ground, the Gambians on the ground, seem to be more politically mature than those of us in the diaspora. All this noise is not coming from the Gambia. Gambia, during the campaign period, you see Team Lizzy supporters, Team Rohilo, they will meet and they will crack jokes. They will just, they, they had this, you know, maturity in them. But this Facebook Republic of the Gambia, the noisemakers in the diaspora here. The people who were nowhere to be found. They were, some of them were even afraid to write on their timelines. Yaya Jame's name. Oteturi Yaya Jamesa was a problem for them. These are the noisemakers in the diaspora now. Hold the Yaya Jame. Those joined during the umpers. How many of us went to our Facebook lives on December 1st when Yaya Jame annulled that election result and said he was not going to leave. He was going to take the matter to certain God. How many Gambians took to their Facebook lives to tell, to tell Yaya Jame? Very few of us, huh? Very few of us did that. These noisemakers that day, they were not Gambians. The people who were insulted Rahim Aliglo. Where were they? Many politics, Gerald Yefi has to. Today you all realize that the verdict of who becomes the mayor or the mayoress of Banjo lies on the hands of the people of Banjo and they have spoken. And they have decided who they want to entrust the leadership of BCC and, and they have actually done it. So now, UDP won 7 out of 8 and I want to apologize to our audience yesterday on the UDP Generation Talk Show because we reported there was 8 out of 8, but because we got information from our polling agents, and I think they did their calculation wrong, we want to apologize. So it's 7 out of 8. 7 out of 8, is UDP got almost 47% of the votes. And I see a lot of APRC supporters on Facebook and saying, well, UDP may have won, but they don't have the majority. I think a big, a rude awakening awaits people, some of these APRC supporters like Lamin Tamba. What you have to understand is, just like the Dr. Cise, Dr. Ismail Asise got that statistics wrong, I'm very disappointed in Dr. Ismail Asise, and I hope he will watch this video. You call yourself the head of the political science department of the University of Gambia. You did a census, and you, your sample was 450. <laughs> How laughable. 450 out of a voter tally of 10,000, for example. Who would do that? And you published that. And you said, well, Sove, blah, 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 lie by Ibu Fai projected to win. We know sometimes, even in the Western world, they get the statistics wrong. But those people, they, they, they get their statistics wrong, not through the methodology. The metho their methodology is not wrong. It's the responses that they get from the people. So, because in the West here, particularly in the Brexit, some people were giving wrong information to some of these, um, 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 the, people, the, the people who did the polls. And even in America, I bet the same thing happened. They will say to somebody, oh, I'll vote for Hillary Clinton. When they, will, they don't want to be categorized as probably racist or whatever, when they really wanted to vote for Donald Trump. So some of them could, that, that could be some of the, why some, the strategies were wrong. But not the methodology. But Dr. Sisa's methodology was really embarrassing. Very embarrassing because the statistics, all of us study statistics in school. We do statistics. We know 
the sample should be representative, somewhat representative. Let it come close to representative. Your margin of error was too high, Dr. C said. 450 out of 10,000. And you, you want to come out and publish that? Of course you got KMZ right. Because KMZ, whether that was a poll survey or not, everybody knew that Talib was going to win anyway. <laughs> everybody knew that Talib was going to win. So it was easy for you to say project that Talib was going to win anyway. The writing was on the wall. You show it. The crowds. You show the, 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 the euphoria that followed Talib Ben Suda. You don't have to do any, any, any survey to realize that Talib, you know. Okay? And even though we know the projection for Banjul as well, Rohim Ali Glow was, based on the crowd, Rohim Ali Glow was going to win anyway. But it was, it, was, it was too close to call. Banjul was too close to call. Right? But, Dr. Cizé, next time you want to do the survey, please widen your sample base. Widen your sample base before you publish those results. If you don't have the resources, we know it takes money, time. If you widen the sample base, then you maybe require more resources. But then, do something that will make sense than just do it for the sake of doing. So this is what I'm saying. Now it's time for nation building, Gambia. Um, the UDP, the, the task at hand is enormous, is big. Because the people have entrusted leadership in us, our party. We have to deliver. Now we have to make sure that the living standard of people in KMC gets better. Banjul, BCC has to deliver for the people of Banjul in our campaign promises. West Coast region, Lower River region, Upper River region, NBR, and obviously GDC one in CRR North, and then CRR South, we've got our candidate as well. We have to deliver. Okay? All right? The task at hand is enormous. It's not child's play. So that's why I want to call on our colleagues, the people in the diaspora, let's give helping hands to these candidates back home to support them in the process. Whatever expertise that you have, if you can share it with them, please share it with them because we need, this is a litmus test for UDP government because we want the UDP government in power in 2021 and that is doable. Don't mind about the naysayers on Facebook saying that we don't have the percentage to win. Look, one thing that is going to shock them is there will be fresh registration of voters before 2021 election. These voters' cards now will be uh, invalid. According to the laws, after 10 years, they have to be fresh registration. The IC chairman, Elijah Mamar Alinjai, came on the UDP Generation Talk Show and said that, that there will be fresh registration. There will be fresh registration. And young people, a lot of young people are going to register. So let these statistics not fool anybody. Let these statistics, these percentages fool anybody. The dynamics of the next election is going to change. Because there will be addition to the, uh, a lot of people add addition to the voters register. There are people who presently have voters register that may not have the voters card. They may not, because when Yaya Jame was there, Yaya Jame, to be fair, gave, um, I'm, I'm not, this, I suspect Yaya Jame gave a lot of voters cards to people who didn't get it. Yes, I would say that. Yaya Jame may have given voters cards to a lot of people who are not Gambians. So that dynamics is going to change because there will be proper scrutiny. If you're making that mistake that this government is just going to look down and then just re-register everybody, there will be proper scrutiny on who gets our documents, who gets our voters' cards. There will be fresh registration. Okay? Somebody said I should talk about Tumanjai. Yes, I did speak about Tumanjai yesterday. But she, I think, redeemed herself today. When she wrote a reconciliatory posting on her wall, which she should even do. That's what is expected of Tumanjai anyway. She redeemed herself from the, from the embarrassing post and Facebook appearances that she did yesterday. A, a serving MP, she behaved disgracefully in a very embarrassing fashion. A lawmaker, somebody representing a whole constituency in the National Assembly. You should know the procedures. If you think there was a foul play, you think there was something illegal, as an MP, as a lawmaker, what should you do, Tuma? Go to the IEC. Report. 
and they will investigate. Right? That's no brainer. It's common sense. But Tuma, writing on Facebook, when I read Tuma Jai's post, I was really embarrassed as a person. Is he actually our lawmaker? She couldn't control her emotions. Yes, that was not wrong in you supporting Lizzie. It's your democratic right. Being a lawmaker doesn't mean that you don't have got you don't have right to support a particular candidate. But always watch your steps when you are a in such position of authority. People look up to you. Other people on Facebook can appear like that. That's why I kept saying. Rohi Malik Law could not have actually stood low because a lot of people look up to her. I say who said Ali, as little as I am, as, as, as insignificant as I may be, there are maybe one or five people that look up to me. Even if it is five people maybe look up to me. There are certain behaviors I cannot do, even on Facebook. So I wouldn't stood low. To do certain things or to react to certain things because if i do that i will disappoint a lot of people i cannot be involved in re uh, um, 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 media work trying to sensitize people or trying to advocate for decency and i find myself acting in this in, in, in an indecent way on facebook then that will be me not be myself Somebody like Rohi Maliklo set the bar high for us. The family set the bar high for us. And this is how we should behave as Gambian people. But now it's time for nation building. Some people are saying Facebook is quiet today. Uh, the DSSs are quiet. Well, they have to be quiet. What will they say? Their candidates lost. Yes, Bakari Baji made a mistake. As affiliating yourself with certain people obviously will bring you down. That's why you have to be strategic and choose who should be in your campaign team. While she said, I'm not saying that she apologized. What she did was she wrote a very reconciliatory posting on her wall today about um, that congratulated, she congratulated Rohi Maliklo and saying that it's time that we should all come together. Uh, unite for the development of Banjo, which which is what is expected of Tumanjai. That's what we should expect from her. She wrote that on her timeline. I went there, comment. I said, "This is what we. Sh this is more like it. This is what we, we we expect from you." But what the way she acted yesterday was childish, very childish. And I and I and I wrote a posting about it on my Facebook. She came there trying to defend that she was just reporting what he said. When has she become a, a journalist to report? Now, that was really childish. So we should have all our leaders behave in responsible ways. But same on all those people. You don't Haste Rohi Maliklo, you don't Shaga Rohi Maliklo. I think now you've gone, the Gambian voters have spoken for Rohi Maliklo. That you are really, you people are non-issue. Non-variables and the determination of their decision. Alright? I think you should try another thing. Whatever she is, she's now the mayoress of Banjo. And you're going to change that. That will ever be in the history books of Gambia. So lessons learned is whatever you do in this world, act with the three D words. Desire, determination, discipline. And inshallah, Gala will, Allah will give you success. Success comes through determination, discipline, and desire. Anything that doesn't have discipline in this world, you can hardly succeed with that. All right? All these people, let's stop being judgmental on people. I'm going to repeat. And inshallah, after the Ramadan, on the UDP generation talk, so we will start civic education. Uh, Ibu Jalo, myself, and Suleiman Gang will start a civic education program that will be coming on free Saturday after the Ramadan. And we will try to invite different experts the people that we don't even agree with because we have to widen the scope you don't have to be in udp to be part of that civic education so that we can elevate our discourse as my brother momo always says 
we need to elevate our discourse. And also, we have to be mature. Maturity is something that money doesn't give you. Um, your parents will not give it to you. You have to give to yourself. Let's all, thank you, Binta Keita Singade. Let's all try to be mature in our discussions. All right? Let's try to elevate our discussions and be mature about things. There are people who would always be immature. And I said you will never, no amount of civic education awareness campaign, no amount of advocacy, even if they read newspapers every day, they can live in Europe for 20 years or 30 years, or they can be in Gambia, be spoken to. Those people will always be the same. They would never change. It's just like Yaya Jami was in power for 22 years. He was president. He had access to a lot of things. Did that change Yaya Jami? Did that change Yaya Jami? Yaya Jami had access to money. He had access to the best services. He used to sleep in, in, in most expensive hotels. He used to drive in most expensive cars. He had access to everything. Did that stop Yaya Jami from being clueless? No. He kept being clueless. So you can reside in the Western world or you can be in Gambia and have access to everything. If you don't elevate your own maturity level, you will always thinking low. And you will always be involved in law ed discussions. And that's what happened to some people. That's why Rohi Maliklo said the bar high. And I look up to people like her. If people are castigating you, be silent. Focus on what matters to you most. Because I'm going to repeat something that I said earlier. Who are you to judge another person? I think we should all ask ourselves that question. Who are you? You call yourself a saint. Are you really a saint? Are you a good person? Only Allah knows. But you cannot put dot on other people and put yourself as the Mr. Good or Madam Good. Because you will never see any human being calling himself or herself a bad person. I said it at the earlier stage of this video. The people who think that Rahim Ali Glow was this, was this, Lee, 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 and they're thinking that they are the good people, who are they? Fofola ignorant snaker. Kunim balia be woleto. Yalon niko hadamori yemon kunim. Iko yang yendoyale. Kunim balia comes in many ways. I say who said it? I don't call people names. Not that I cannot. Apart from Yaya Jame that I used to call, he was a, Yaya Jame was a criminal, and I base it on evidence. Because Yaya Jame killed people. Yaya Jame shot students. Yaya Jame killed Daida Haidara. I have every right to call. I will not even use alleged criminal on Yaya Jame. You mean Yaya Jame was a criminal? Okay? Yaya Jame was a criminal. But apart from Yaya Jame, I don't call anybody names. I don't call anybody, you are this, you are this, you are this. I don't. Not that I can't. Because who am I to judge somebody else? Ask yourself a question. I can disagree with people, but I'm not going to be judgmental on other people. Because it's, com it's ignorant to do that. So all this hoo-ha that was happening on Facebook, Rahim Ali Glodis, Rahim Ali Glodis, this, that, that, and that, is all from ignorant people. Let's not mind them. Let's focus on national development now. Let's try to elevate our discourse tonight to make things better. The Ramadan is coming. We can all forgive one another. It's a holy month. Seek forgiveness from each other. Move on. And I think that will set the cooling off period in this heated political discourse. One month. I don't think people have time to go on Facebook Live to insults, at least in the Ramadan. That will give us cooling off period. And that will give the new the elected officials the cooling of period to start to set the benchmark, try to move their political aspirations and like their, their mayoral or chairmanship manifestos forward for prosperity, for a better, better country. That's what we should do. But um, what we know is we have a lot of work to do. 
at the level of the United Democratic Party, we have succeeded in getting favorable results for ourselves. But there's a lot of work to be done still. Let's be accommodative of all the people. We have to be strategic to try to, because the next election is 2021. And that election is crucial. Every vote matters. Every vote counts. We have to try and register as many people. Encourage our people to go out and vote. And somebody said something here. I think Sisla said something here. APRC is still, they do have support in Gambia. It, it amazes a lot of people. They came second in, 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 in Brikama. And they came second in KMC. That's scary. That's scary. Because Brikama has got a lot of votes. I think the most populated is in Brikama, West Coast region. They came second there. And they came second in KMC as well. 17,000 votes in KMC. Talib got 29,000. APRC candidate Rambo Jata of all people got 17,000. That's scary for me. That was not in the script for me. I never thought he was going to get close to that. Even 5,000 thought he would never get close to that. It's a food for thought for a lot of people. Probably the new registration is going to help us. Probably. Because there will be new massive registration in Gambia. These voter scouts will be. And those of us in the diaspora, that's, that's another thing. The diaspora element is going to change the dynamics of Gambia's results. Because the diaspora would vote in the next election. And there's a big consequence of Gambians in the diaspora. That's, that's, that's why, don't worry about the statistics. The people who are telling you that the UDP cannot win um, first round, we can't. We may not even need second round in 2021 to form a UDP government. It's doable. Don't mind about this APRC and these GDC supporters who are saying, oh, they cannot get a percentage. We can't do it. Because there will be re-registration. Fresh registration, this voter scouts, and the diaspora is going to have votes. UDP has got massive support in the diaspora. That's going to tilt the tally in terms of the percentages. So that's why the people who are just projecting, you're just projecting wrongly. Let's focus on being strategic about the United Democratic Party. Let's continue our campaigns. Let's focus on substantive issues and leave the non-substantive issues aside. Let's try to be very inclusive as a party. Let's try to be very accommodating as a party. Let's try to reach out, like our party leader rightly said, that we try even and go and bring people into the party. These are the words of Lawyer Dabo, not mine. He said, we should not even wait for people to come to the party. We should go and bring them. Lawyer Dabo said that. I didn't say that. All right? He said we should, and that's what we should do. Everybody should do it as a strategy. In at least every month or two months, you try to bring one or two people to UDP. Sizzler, maybe try to bring 10 people. Target yourself in the next six months. See, I'll bring 10 people to UDP. Another person will say, I'll bring another five people. Banna will say, I will do this. This is how we would brought in our support base. Because if you bring any five people, maybe that can give you another 100 votes in totality. You know why? Because each of those five people, maybe they have got influence, they have got families back home that they can convince to vote for UDP. So we have to be strategic about things because nation building is what we should focus on. Now, let's unite. Uh, the elections are over. Uh, I hope we will all come together on one, under one umbrella and move our country forward. Let's embrace and shake hands our political opponent, whether you're in GDC, APRC, UDP, PPP, we are all Gambians. We are not enemies. I keep saying that. Let's embrace one another. All right? That's how we should forward now. We see that in the Western world, when elections are over, they move forward with nation building. They would have their political discussions going on, but we are all Gambians. Let's not see each other as enemies. We are not enemies. We are one people. We could have disagreement. And that's why on the UDP generation talk show, we will reach out to people who are not members of the UDP. They can come to the platform. We can have Tukulur Shi come to our platform. Pat Sambaja was there. Yunus Haidara was there the other day. Because what? We are all Gambians. It doesn't matter their di disagreement with UDP. They are Gambians. It doesn't matter that somebody is not on the same political thinking with you. San Nonla. Ijawolom. Momanke enemy tijang. 
We are all citizens. We should be able to sit around a coffee table. Share jokes. And that's political maturity. But immediately you perceive somebody as an enemy. That's too dangerous. Nobody's an, for me, I don't have any political enemy. Seriously. Even if I don't talk to you that much, it doesn't mean I see you as an enemy. Right? We can have our disagreement. I don't see you as an enemy. We are all the same. Gambia, Bena, Bopala. Can Munurko Hajalo into two or yar? Because we are all interrelated. Alright? Yes, Mamori Kurubali came there as well. And we will be expanding that after the the, 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 the Ramadan break. We'll be reaching out to different people, bringing them on the platform, God willing, talking to them, have a constructive engagement with them. And because it's common sense, if you want to bring somebody to your party, but you don't want to talk to that person, and you expect that person to be the one talking to you, then you, you, Bugolo, you don't want to increase your base. And that's what lawyer Dabo said rightly. Don't wait for people to come. Go after them. These are the words of our party leader. I didn't say these words. He said them. And I think he's spot on. Go bring people. Encourage people to come. And that's what we should all be doing. So, so for me, uh, once again, congratulations to the entire UDP leadership. Support us. Let's continue doing what we are doing with discipline. And nobody can castigate and put this stereotype of oh, UDP are um, the people who are doing insults and that and that. That's not true. That is something that cuts across all political spectrum. Saga mom, Nendiro, is something that nobody should be proud of. It's 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 not it's not it's, um, that's not that's not good. That's not something that we should do. All right, but now Gambia should remain united. Diaspora also, let's try and remain united. Because diaspora is an influential, play an influential role in Gambian politics. Let's stop these problems here, these insults. Look, go every day on Facebook Live, challenge President Barrow's government. But also be ready for people to challenge you. This video that I'm doing. Somebody can go and listen to it, disagree with what I say, and challenge me on it. And I shouldn't see that as a problem. This is what we call mature maturity. But there are some Gambians here. They will go and rant on Facebook Lives. They will go on anything. You challenge them, they get angry. They said, and you know, there's a, there's a, <laughs> there's a famous phrase that we use. And this is, this is a, sometimes we use abuse words. Def Mabuga silence. You'll have to silence Lali. They want to silence me. When I hear those words, who can silence anyone here? Is that something that we should even do? Use? Because nobody can silence anybody unless you want to be silenced. For me, nobody can silence me. For me, say who say Dili. I don't see anybody in this world. Let me repeat that here. There is nobody in this world who can silence me. The only people that can have influence on me to stop what I'm doing are my parents. My parents can. Yes. But apart from that, my family, yes, my wife, yes, she would have influence in what I do, because I have to listen to her. But apart from that, nobody else can influence me to stop what I am doing, as long as I believe what I'm doing is good. No insults, no castigation. You can have million Facebook postings. You can write million Facebook postings. You can write million Facebook. You can go to the radio or whatever. Unless I choose to be quiet. So nobody should even say somebody wants to silence you. Because you choose to be silenced if you want to be. Because for me. <laughs> when I see you write something. I'm in my house here. I will eat my benachin. My super kanja. None my attire. Go to work. I pray God to give me long life. That's what bothers me. Because Ken Duffel fee. You see, what the people who are criticizing Rohimali Glow, they are people that you cannot, you cannot, you can, whatever you do, who God blessed, 
you can never bring them down. Unless you, if you have at the back of your mind, don't waste your time. Because God blessed her. Okay? And the people who tried, you look at the amount of insult. Did that stop her from being a male? So, no. Let's prove our hearts. I keep saying that let's prove our hearts. Somebody that God bless, you want to bring that person down because of what? Who are you? Yo, yeah, I can. You are just a human being like me or anybody else. Why God Almighty takes decisions and He wants, He is the one who is responsible for every human being, your fate, what will become of you. So, unnecessary bigotry doesn't take us anywhere. And if everybody knows that, you rest your case. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm very principled. Okay? I don't know what I'm very, very principled. All right? And Nikki so Gomez Boba. And that's why I love about Rohi Malik Ro. I'm referencing her a lot. Therefore, Gom Boba. We believe in the moment what she believes in. So, insults didn't take her anywhere. She kept doing what she was doing. All right? But there are people who don't want to learn. Now, let's think about our nation, how to progress our country. Because our country needs help. We can all contribute positively. I've heard concerns about the government to reduce the price of commodities. Uh, government should do this. And I keep repeating myself. Government should interfere with in the market. They shouldn't introduce price control. That's going to be detrimental to our country. What government can do is to put sound physical and monetary policies to help. But also we need our businessmen not to be greedy. Because government can reduce tax. They can help in other ways. But it's the responsibility of the, price, the businessmen to maintain price stability. Particularly if the foreign exchange remains stable. Because the foreign exchange has direct bearing on the price of commodities. Because these business people use foreign exchange to import these commodities. We are an import, largely importing nation, Gambia. So this is what we should do. But people like APRC and some of the GDC critics, why didn't you want to price in Malawi? Yen fung yen deka in Europe, government never talk like one price of commodities. Ndahdu. Lola government did it. But sometimes, the jahal, some of these people live in Europe as if they are not living in Europe. European countries, but European countries, more they talk like. <laughs> but now, Juf, I don't mind watching their life history, but they are bigotry and so this come. Well, but but now, if you don't want to watch bigotry, don't watch it. Man, I don't watch. Me say, me say well, I don't watch any bigotry because immediately you, I tune into your Facebook live and you, you insult, I just sign out. Because maybe you will see me come in, but I will just leave. Because I, I don't have time to re, 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 insult or re, insult. If I, look, if I was here, the Tonto, the Saga Niti, the Def, they will start calling one another, hey, say who mom, tell mom, mom, a kinyo e defante. That's how people are, you know? And everybody will come watching. All right? Thank you, Ajay Disani. Uh, you are a very good person as well. I know that. Thank you. Very supportive as well. And thank you for your support to UDP. Thank you. So, let's keep elevating our discussion. I want to thank um, members of my team. Not my team. They are not my team. Sorry, I shouldn't even use that word. Members of the team that I work with. Um, UDP Generation Talk Show for their fabulous job. The fabulous job that they did. And the, and the fans of the UDP Generation Talk Show. Um, you are very supportive of that medium. Very helpful. And sometimes even we delay, you will ask, when are you guys coming? You will send inbox messages, you come. Like yesterday we came, I think about, within the such space of time, with a lot of people log on to watch us. I think that shows a lot of confidence. We got close to almost 500 people yesterday watching us on their mobile phones. That helps. Uh, that shows the confidence that you have on the platform. And we'll continue to deliver on issues, continue to progress on the aspirations of the UDP. We we'll try to elevate the national discourse, invite other people, and through that we can bring other people as well. But once again, 
congratulations to everybody in the United Democratic Party. The celebrations, we started it last night, today it will continue, but Monday we go back to work. We have a lot of work to do. Monday we go back to work. Uh, the DSS is, they said they are sleeping. <laughs> let's, let, let's have uh, uh, unity. Um, let's even engage the DSSs. I would like to engage the likes of Femi Mahoney, uh, PMJ. I don't mind to engage PMJ. You know, I know a lot of people can't stand PMJ, but we'll have a discussion with PMJ. Ibu Jala has proposed that. Have a discussion with PMJ on the civic education. There's nothing wrong with that. Because I don't think, as long as he's not going to come here and insult, I don't think he will insult anybody. We can just have a discussion. We had a healthy discussion with... with, with, with we, um, so this is the, the um, this is the point we have, and I also want to thank all those people who sent their their the messages of gratitude to us, private messages. Um, that platform is teamwork. Um, it's not attributable to me. Uh, we are going to concentrate on the arts forever. I think it's time to move on and work together. Uh, yes, our lamin. Yes, we need to work together. Um, that's why I'm reaching out to even non-UDP supporters like yourself. Our, come and join us. Call in. Feel free to call in. Let's have a discussion. I know you and I used to work at the Ministry of Trade. Ma ma yo musi yo jubonak because denga digger bopa yo denga digger bopa man ma digger bopa yo 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 denga digger bopa awal lamin awal lamin nakala sa candidate mel lizzy lizzy denga call na ma mom tamit muna ma mom tamit nekut koma wajis na mu mom tamit thank you lizzy mom tamit concede na defeat and she wrote um something on her timeline you know the congress with Rohi Malik Lo that's good Bakari Baji also did the same thing this is the spirit. That's what we should do. Al Kali Alpha, thank you. Great show and we'll get bigger. Inshallah. Thanks for your support and everything. But Nanyan Japal and Terek. Um Nyep Nyuneka Bena. Um New Mum healthy discussion. Nanyan by the saga each order. Alinga new name robula. Alinga new bulaka new commanding name solar because more George Lagam. Because the good thing is if you if I for example call our lamin this, our lamin can also turn back and call me this. She can if she wants to. Our lamin, you are the one who can eat. say who you are So we'll always go in that. Thank you, stupid girl, uh, Fatunjai Manga. Thank you. He, say hello to Mod Lamin Manga, my good friend. <laughs> Fatunjai, Nadef. Suma, 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 boy, be. We grew up together in Lamin. Mod Lamin. Mama, my childhood friends, like. Uh, Why, Jabaram, Mod Lamin. Your Mod Lamin's wife is a member of UDP. Mod Lamin, Mungi PDIS. In fact, that's a perfect family. Mod Lamin, Mungi PDIS. Jabara Mungi UDP, but they're happily married. See, this is the maturity, you know. Why? Uh, fat Njai Manga, they're going to get a lot of money. Indico, UDP. I'm going to send power, the woman power. <laughs> bring bring her to UDP. If you want to go to UDP, you can go to UDP. Bring her to UDP. Don't let her go. You're going Okay? So that's all I have for today for Facebook Live. Um, uh, obviously, come uh, often on the generation talk show come lama bin the my facebook be in the process of the advocacy thank you thank you fatin jai defa lolo defa lolo indico thank you sirif she said thank you to you all you did a fabulous job eh di nyominka man is here ibrahim senor nyominka man um sirif you did a fabulous job particularly in crr thank you so much my brother oh our lamin you are going to pdis i thought you part of the facebook noise noise makers party <laughs> Facebook noise pins. Your buckle was Okay. Um. So that's 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 what we should um 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 focus on. Um. Like I said, I wrote on my timeline. Uh. Dami Adama. Nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. Sometimes you do it consciously or subconsciously. Um. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, Nyominka. You're great. Say who all jokes aside. Congrats. Thank you so much. Thank you. I do try my best. I do. Um. We, we, we I, I seek everybody's forgiveness as we enter the holy month of Ramadan. Um, if I said something on the UDP Generation Talk Show or on my timeline that somebody found offensive, wasn't intentional. Mangi balu nyep, bemo be hako danila, ala mangi do sunkaro kono kaira kono, ngafunda kono kaira kono, and I think it will be cooling off period for all for this political discourse thing. 
because I don't expect anybody to go on Facebook live. This saga is very corbinak. Lulu de suhe ve ready na jahl. Si we are from Magbi. Need them Facebook this saga. Ah, Lulu mom phone me today. Am I hope not. Um, yala nyo duga. Oh, my cousin, Kumba. Uh, hello to you. Hello. I hope you are doing well and 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 and, and everybody out there. Thank you. Abaraka. Uh, alam ang dumsun karo kono kaya kono funda kono kaya kono. Um, the kari uh the pro the source of the lobby later. On the UDP generation talk show, we should come up tonight. Um, regular panel discussion on celebrations as well, and then we will focus on national unity, um, trying to bring people together, Gambians. And I encourage um, even the non UDP members to call into that show tonight. Uh, people like Awalamin, you can call in. Um, members of the GDC, if you want to call in, you can call in. Don't feel that, oh, this is a UDP. Uh, thank you, Ahmadu Ahmad. Well done, Sadi Lian and Tati Mo UDP Generation Talks. Wonderful job. Thank you. Thank you, Esiti Chan. Thank you. Um, don't feel that it's, it's a UDP platform. If you have the access code, thank you. Thank you, Esiti Chan, for all of us to um, call in and then share. Because Gambia belongs to all of us. We're, we have a UDP government. If you go to the hospital or you go to the you know, other social service sectors, they will not ask for your UDP membership before they attend to you. They see you as a Gambian, right? So it is about not the nation building. Um, they have a lot of work to do. Our country came out of dictatorship. We need to help this government to succeed. Let's encourage the government to focus on areas that we can help. Manhau Mone Momodundao is part of Team Lizzy. Banna, your friend Momodundao. I saw Momodundao's name being tagged by Lizzy. Ndekene Momodundao Mone Mombokut fan. Mungi Team Lizzy. <laughs> I wish Father Kamara was here. Father Kamara London, get them bole masi si momodo now. Momodo now, and they you secretly, you are part of Lizzie's team. Because I saw Lizzie, Lizzie Usen tagged all the people. And and, and by the way, um, um, uh, condolences to Lizzie. I think she lost her, her sister. I think late into elections. Um, I think so. May her soul rest in peace. Uh, thank you, Aisha to Jawara, uh, for that congratulations. Um, thank you, thank you to everybody. Um, why you do go alamanga do sungaro kono kaira nga funda kono kaira nga hakoto nyoi nga mome offend nga kuma fu mola me alanko ay kamfale you are forgiven um uh, I f f sorry i ask for your forgiveness um uh, one thing is i'm always very careful i don't like to abuse people i don't like to call people names that's something that i always very i'm very careful because i don't think it pays well on the part of humanity to call people names uh, it's not decent. It's not a decent thing. We should all refrain from it because only Allah has the final judgment. We'll have the final judgment on every human being, not us. We can just think that somebody's like this, but are they like that? We don't know. Only Allah knows. So let's elevate our discussions uh, in Gambia to bigger issues, uh, how to progress our country. Let's change our country like agricultural minister. What, 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 what can they do for the farmers? The health minister. Let's discuss things and this is what we will do on the civic education program so thank you guys uh it's, 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 I, I wanted to stay for 30 minutes but you know with me when i start talking i don't finish <laughs> so that, that's one of my problems when i start talking i don't finish so i'm gonna wrap, wrap up my thing here um banna go and bring femi mahoney tell femi money we are missing they idi your uncle we haven't seen him write anything but i saw him congratulate udp femi i think i saw that last night he wrote a posting and said he, he congratulated UDP, Femi Mahoney. But today I didn't see Femi Mahoney write anything on Facebook. Um, the DSS is, we have to, we have to uh, allow them to recover from the shock. They are in a state of shock since yesterday. Uh, like our lamin said, our lamin mom, they are the far, the far, living. Our lamin, mom, look at your sir. Temperature bangi, how much nyata, mom, mom, nyah. How much land, land, she felt cold. The far, the Sock be more of the floor, our lamin. The now, the now, where's a secretary? If he's my video, be our lamin. Momuta gum, the UDP winner seven out of eight. Lolo, of course, your sock. Our lamin. Our lamin, dal. Tell me, you and UDP, nothing in Muna win all the places. Luna, I love not possibly. Our lamin, Muna temperature bangi, how many yata? 88 la homa my our love in mungen mungen na fa liu munu ta def dara demba wa li la li mo la de dal our love gis nga so ñew bok udp nak sok bi dafa gëna continuer 2021 election bi da nga gëna am sok because ñun 
we will end up winning maybe 55 percent or 60 percent of the votes right you declare as your president be president you form UDP government bala lolo do la feka ñewal nga boka ñew tamit nga am happiness ah UDP ñoko yor awal amin bala nga neka fofu nonu di sona way dama buga tay in call into the show awal amin please call in number be US di la fa neka call in you diga la di nañ buga xam lizi lizi sax su mëna call into the program wala suñu amé number lizi sax ñu call ko lizi lizi ocean la mo awal amin sen ma number bi ñu call ko ñu laaj ko um how she is feeling because lizi ndeke dem mom ñata la jël sa fort lizi in even come second way ma xam nga luma naxar lo rek moy lay ba naka la lay ba di am second in banjol ha man lo re mom munuma ko understand lay ba way ñu ne incumbent la xej na lolu moko dimbalé incumbent la um wala min wa awala min xam nga awala min sa awala min yo pour indi wala ba to udp what a, what a difficult because awala min yo 1996 yo udp nga nekkon lu xew la la ñu def de nga bayyi ñu ha ko la merlo ci ci udp wo ma gaaw ma dem top of romam go yo 96 udp nga nekkon they they fail to realize the republic of facebook does it why how well if udp um the dss they all quiet today we need to go on you live in land knock knock hey 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 wake up from your sleep the facebook is boring we want you guys back again femi mahoni i missed your postings so you need to bring it why how well i mean on a serious note you need to come back because you were in udp in um in 1996 i know that yo yo you been there kan mo la merlo be nga bay udp nak awal amin yo tamit ha kan mo la merlo maybe bamba mas bamba mas will or the udp dss is who are <laughs> so you udp dem am dss awal amin awal amin ya ba tas way ñu na mu dss de udp do am dss de Okay so why why what man you using to Bamba Mas will work that out Bamba Mas will uh, Bamba Mas is diplomat here you know the peace that they got out new you uh why have none of them your tone you know among DSS you come back to uh, to, to, to your home you are part of you uh they are, they are still sleeping okay Khadija to say that Khadija Khadija to congratulations congratulations Khadija to uh you have been having content guys we need Rohi Malik Lodi uh nepa content uh the newcomers who are the newcomers ah uh, man am a newcomer di awa ana man di ss la <laughs> you know what <buddy? laughs> we can fix that sister awa yeah definitely we can fix that awa we got dss you know my dss na uh, dss neko di udp uh, well this is political fun uh let's laugh over things sometimes let's not take take things seriously we joke we can mona your turn each other here and there Uh, and i like our 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 lama ma ma buga sa politics sa politics da fa clean to be honest da nga create joke you laugh da nga re ton udp why do they saga can yo boko lo si facebook noise maker si to be honest da ma da ma la don ton rek facebook noise maker si ño ño re xam ño modi mer si facebook lives di saga uh uh our lama you right uh <laughs> maybe you are part of them too no i'm not part of them like but my categorize you know all i mean um the 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 yodore saga uh exactly yai biran except sehu degala man boku mo si yoy gisulo uh suma 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 jawar mo ma farle nak um ya yai biran jai mo ma farle so um why um am na ño xamne uh we cannot afford to 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 uh, bring if you hate a, a, a discourse in our politics lolo mom is not good and i i listened to bamba mas message today very reconciliatory that's that's the way forward bamba mas want all of us to come together for nation building that's what khalifa lolo wara def um that's what we should do let's continue preaching our lame yo tamit you are good in that always calling for people uh, suma jabar bi magat nyaay def de def lolo uh Kerof Nde Idi um made no that uh, pronouncement on the UDP generation talk so she said very well and I keep repeating that because I'm really proud of her words that day um not that I wasn't proud of her earlier words but that particular one actually you know was you know was uh, I picked that one on because she really made a very good call for people to forget about our personal differences work together as a nation and this is what every patriot citizen should do and hope we can do that so until we cup up catch up in the UDP generation talk so tonight enjoy the rest of your evening wherever you are if you're in the united states i think it's in the afternoon there or morning or whatever uh, i think asia is quite late over there now but 
bye bye um bye bye and thanks for watching